Hey humans, it's me, George3, and today we're going to be talking about this crazy thing that's taking over YouTube Shorts. Talking birds. What do I mean by talking birds? Well, you know, birds that can speak. You know, like I'm speaking right now. If you haven't noticed, pet owners all over the world are sharing their favorite videos of their pet birds. And today I'm going to be sharing a few of those videos for your enjoyment and mine, plus some bird facts. Stick around. But before we can continue, I would like to say make sure you're subscribed, have the notifications turned on, and don't forget to like this video. It helps me out a lot. Oh yeah, you like this little bird I got right over here? I named him Chub. Before we can continue, I would like to talk about today's video sponsor, Corporate Piranha. I was in the process of editing this video while at my job because it was kind of slow and I was like, might as well. When I checked my email and luckily something happened. I got an email from Corporal Piranha. Corporal Piranha reached out to me to sponsor one of my videos and talk about the wonderful app, Corporal Piranha. Don't worry, this will be a very interesting segment, I swear. I swear, it'll be a very interesting segment. Corporal Piranha is a new digital strategy board game that you can find on your local Play Store, like Google Play or iOS. Imagine owning several companies on the stock market. You can gain wealth and influence, and you can take over companies to gain their- you can take over other companies to gain more power and wealth. But you don't need to know anything about these topics, just like me, because I don't know anything about this kind of stuff. But thankfully, this game, you don't need to learn. You just gotta play. This neat game relies mostly on probability and luck, and it's very simple to play. It gives you instructions on exactly how to play and what you are going to do in this game. Some things you must try your best to strategically avoid. To avoid the fluctuating stock holdings, taxation, insider trading, corporate raiders, bull and bear markets, and so much more. And if you think this game is only single player, well, I have bad news for you because you can play with multiple people around the world. You can play with anybody from around the globe. Now, to be fair, <laughs> I accidentally misspelled fair, oops. Now, to be fair, everything within the game, the stock markets, the companies, and even your investments within this game are just fake. It's fictional. It's for the purposes of just this game. That's it. But that doesn't mean you won't have any fun. It's only been around for a short amount of time, but it's already gained more than 15,000 daily users playing this game. And now I'm one of them, and hopefully you will be too. This is what I got for simply joining the game. I got a nice starter pack with lots of stuff. I also got an Apprentice Tycoon pack as well. Take a look. Here's a short segment of gameplay from me, playing this interesting game. Watch me play. And it's me, George 3. Today we're going to be talking about this game, Corpa Piranha. Let's have some fun and play a level. It's pretty fun. This is nice. I like this. No, oh, no, I'm not gonna skip this. I'm gonna play through and watch. Ooh, yeah, this is this is nice. It's like I'm walking into a casino right now. Ooh, is that a bull and a bear? This is fun. Obviously, this isn't my first time playing it, but it's your first time watching. Okay, working capital, 20k, 55 rolls. Okay, let's roll. Ooh, I got a 6. Okay, that means I'm first. I could sell stocks, I could just roll one die or two. I'm just gonna roll one for right now. Nope, I got a 1. Okay, and I'm gonna buy the stock. Okay, I'm gonna try again. Okay, no. Okay, I'm just gonna wait a second and take a little breather. Okay, let's do this. Nope, of course. <laughs> uh oh, what happened with them? Ooh, I think they just got attacked by the bull. <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna sell anything. Ah, uh, roll two dice. Okay, I'll move. Ooh, land here? Mm, I'm gonna do it. I'll try to take over. That's not let me. Okay, then I won't attempt. What? Just one? Okay, I'll try to do three attempts. Ooh, and I got it! Sweet. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Ooh, he got attacked by the bear. You don't mess with the bear. Be nice. I don't want to get caught up in that. Ooh, they got snake eyes. Uh oh. What's this? Oh, is that a snake? Okay, well, at least I have insurance. Because I know this happened to me one time when I first played the game, and I lost everything. Let's, have, let's try to do this buyout. Ooh. I got this. And I'm 46k right now. I remember one time I was at 200k. Mm, that's nice. Close, but no cigar. And they got snake eyes. Man, they are so unlucky today. <laughs> It is a nice animation. Bye, Snake. So. I'm getting pretty good at this. Thank you, baby. I like this guy. I like how it matches the color of my fish. Fireworks. It's a pretty fun game, and I'd recommend it to anybody who enjoys a good strategic. Pretty fun game that I'd recommend to anybody who enjoys a good strategic experience with great graphics and very informative tutorials to help you out to play the game. If you want to download and play this interesting game, you can check out the links in the description box below, or you can check out the link shown here. The game is Corpora Piranha. Corpora Piranha. Thank you for sponsoring this video. I appreciate that very much. This video would not have been possible without you. Okay, well, this segment wouldn't be, but I wouldn't have gotten it out as sooner. So what are you waiting for? Go check out this game now and have lots of fun. Okay, back to the video about talking birds. Now this chirp is a digibird. It's a nice bird. I saw it and I'm like, ooh, I gotta get it for the video and also I'm gonna give it to my nephew later. Yeah, let me just turn it on. Hi, Chip. Yep. Chip is high. This is a nice bird. He knew I said his name wrong. I'm gonna place him back over here. That was Chuck. That was Chuck. <laughs> anyway, here's some fun bird facts. Okay, but first, let's start with this after. Okay. Let me share a couple fun. Let me share a couple fun facts about these wonderful birds, the African gray parrots. Let's. I know I'm getting to it. I keep messing. I, I keep messing up. <laughs> Let's start with the African gay. I did it again. Let's start with the African gray parrot Apollo. Apollo. This is Apollo. He's an African gray parrot. And yes, I said gray. The African gray parrots. I misspelled gray and put gret. Are birds originating from Africa? Of course, by their name and are most famous for not only their beauty, but also their ability to mimic human voices and language. Like so. Not you, Chip. Not you, Chip, sorry. Glass. Female African gray parrots tend to have a pale gray crown with dark gray ridges, a gray body with red tail feathers. While the males tend to look similar except they become darker when they age. Okay, it's time to talk about Apollo. Apollo, the African gray parrot. Keeps messing me up. Anyway, here's Apollo. Hello. Peekaboo. Apollo. Oh. Some of his favorite words are paper, scissors. I was about to say rock next, which is actually relevant. 
Shut up. Some of his favorite words are paper, glass, lock, shrek, wario, shrek, suck, pour water, pistache, and way more. I just love the way he identifies objects by bashing his face onto things. It's by bashing his head onto things that he can easily recognize by his eyes alone. Like if I were to hold this up in front of him and say, Hey Apollo, what's this? He'd bash his head on it a few times, at least three, and say, Glass or glass. He's an amazing bird. Here's another video of him. Class. Class. Now here's a questionable video of him saying a very inappropriate word. I love your butt. Suck. Speaking of questionable phrases, talking birds tend to say, here's Gizmo, the African grey parrot, with a special message. Squawk off. <laughs> Go to bed. Go to bed. Quack off. No, you go to bed. Being cheeky. <laughs> Gizmo. It's bedtime. Yeah, stretch before bed. Okay? Okay. Did you enjoy that special message? Hey, Chuck, did you enjoy that message? I think he did. So the bird you just saw now is another African grey parrot, of course. But this one is named Gizmo, and Gizmo is unique. In fact, he's not just unique, he's a unique snowflake. Yes, yes he is. You are too. Some, Some of his favorite words are, I'm Gizmo, bad bird, bad bird, what you gonna do, mom beats me, I'm getting to it. His evil laughs, his farting and singing, and he's an amazing singer. The bird is crazy funny, and I wish he could do stand-up comedy. Gizmo, keep doing what you're doing. You too. So, this is a cuteness order. I don't know if anybody will survive after watching this. Yes, it is very adorable what you're about to see. He was one of the most cutest birds in all of existence. Asking if you want a treat. We're here. You want a treat, treat? Yeah, you can have one. Sunflower seeds. All right, high five. Good boy. Can you say hi to everyone? Wave. Wave, good job. You waved is what happened. Look at you. We just have so much love. High five. <coughs> High five. Good baby. This is Kiwi. That's not Kiwi, that's Chuck. But this is Kiwi. This is Kiwi, aka Blue Chicken, which is an Indian ringneck parakeet, or a rose winged parakeet. Isn't it so cute? He agrees. I believe Kiwi's about three years old, and like I said, he's one of the most cutest birds around. Here are some fun facts about these kinds of birds, you know, the Indian redneck. Yes, I said it wrong. The Indian ringneck parakeet. <laughs> so, the Indian ringneck parakeet are uh, a dimorphic species, meaning that its colors and markings determine its sex, basically. Yes. That's you. Males tend to have deep red beaks, black facial markings, and three bands of color around their necks. I'm getting to it. The black ring develops at around 18 months, and the blue and pink rings appear around the same time they reach around three years old. And the blue and pink rings appear... And the blue and pink rings appear around when they're at the age of three years old. And females apparently lack the facial and color bands, although some display a slight darkening of color around their necks. Interesting facts, I know. And they can live up to 25 to 30 years of age. They can live a really long time. And that's amazing. And these red beak cuties can start speaking at around eight months old. That's amazing. And at least around 200 words they can learn. Some of Kiwi's favorite words are Want treat treat? Beep, 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 beep. Want treat treat? Oh. Want treat treat? Nice. 
Mmm. Gives you a kiss. Thank you, baby. Oh my goodness, what happened? Thank you, baby. Thank you. And he'd be surprised. He says, oh my goodness, what happened? Oh. <gasps> what happened? Oh my goodness. And then there's Einstein, another African gray parrot. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. Einstein is a great bird. I don't have really much to say about some of the things he said, but... I know you. You compare it. But he's up there, and Einstein, keep being the great bird you want. Hi. Hi. Bye-bye. I wonder what would happen if we gathered all these famous YouTube birds, these uh, famous birds of YouTube and TikTok shorts for a convention. Would they all have a nice time? Would they have a nice conversation? What would that conversation look like? Could I animate that conversation? I could, but I'm lazy. So I'm just gonna describe it. Bear with me. You're gonna have to look at me and watch, like you've been doing. <laughs> Here's what most likely will happen. Kiwi will probably be the adorable little leader, asking everybody if they want a treat treat, while giving everybody kisses. Einstein will be enjoying his time with the bird squad, making jokes, having a great time giving everybody a good laugh, a good chuckle. <laughs> Gizmo would definitely be laughing at Einstein's jokes while making better jokes, including yelling that his mom beats him with the occasion of farting. And Apollo standing in the corner saying, rock, biting all the paper around him, bashing his head onto any glass he sees while saying glass, glass or glask. Glass. Glass. And screaming suck, suck, while making suspicious sucking noises. Suck. 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 I can picture it now. And it is awkward. <laughs> but anyway, those are the crazy world of YouTube shorts talking birds. At least some of them. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. And please make sure you hit the notification bell so you get updates from this channel and from me. So you can see my stuff. And heck, why not check out my Patreon? You can check out my Patreon. You can subscribe to me for as little as a dollar a month. Not really much, and it helps this channel out greatly. Uh, Trip, do you have anything else you wanna say? No? Nothing at all? Okay, I guess, I guess that's it. Maybe if I whistle. That's not, maybe he turned off. Okay, I woke him up from his nap, so, uh, yeah, it's time to go. Bye, see you next time. Tell me your thoughts in the comment section, by the way. Just let me know. Tell me what you thought about this video and if I should make more in the comments. Okay, bye. Trips is bye. So, I wanted to say thank you all for watching. I appreciate every single person who viewed this video. Thank you. If you have any comments or thoughts, leave them be in the comment section. Tell me your thoughts in the comment section, please. I read every single one of them. If you know that you subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you get notified when I upload next. And, uh, yeah. Have a great day.